This is question number 40 of IED Jam Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question is saying. There are two sellers, H and L. So H and L. In a second-hand goods market, where product quality varies. The seller knows the quality of their own product. Of course, the seller would know. But the buyers cannot distinguish between product quality. So there is less information. with buyers when there is less information with buyers it means buyers may not be able to select properly may not select correctly so buyers are facing the problem of adverse selection isn't it so definitely buyers have problem of adverse selection because they don't know what is the quality of the product? Right from here, we know this. Without further information, seller's valuation of their own product is based on the quality. H is willing to sell his product with quality QH at price PH. Now, H is selling the price at PH. And L is willing to sell his quality of product at price PL. So, he is selling his price quality at PL the market will suffer from. Now, please understand this thing. Now, although we understand that because this is a high quality, the price of this product is greater than the price of the low quality product, right? The price of the high quality product is be, you know greater than the price of the low quality product. He is willing to sell his product at pH and he is willing to sell his product at PL. Still, one important thing that is happening in this case is that this is seller's own valuation. Right? So, there is still less information with the buyers. They do not know whether this valuation is correct or not. So, it's like this. You go to buy a second-hand car. There are two people. One says, I'm going to sell my car for 1 lakh. And the other says, I'm going to sell my car as 80,000. You know, I don't know whether what quality is this and what quality is this. I cannot judge the quality without extra information. All that these price can do is maybe give me some information about the quality that maybe this price is more than this price. So this is a better quality. But that is not enough. I still as a buyer will have less information. So this market will always suffer the problem of adverse selection. Before the transaction takes place, it is adverse selection. After the trans transaction takes place, it is moral hazard. Remember that. Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about the, you know, the next thing. Whenever there is problem of adverse selection or there is problem of moral hazard, either ways, because the market fails, the market is not able to come to an equilibrium. It can be the case that whichever seller is selling at a low price, everybody wants to buy from them. So when the demand of this product, everybody is buying from this market, this is demand supply. Demand of his product increases. He's able to increase the price. Nobody buys from him. And, you know, he is not willing to sell at a low price because he himself knows that it is of high quality. So whenever there is problem of adverse selection and moral hazard, because prices are not capable of defining the market completely, and because an equilibrium a lot of times is not reached, it always faces the problem of market failure.
there is not excess supply of the good no there is no excess supply they are only supplying what is available to them each supplier is only supplying what is with them there is and whatever is with them would be demanded at some price we are not talking about the supply being in excess quantity no we are also not talking about moral hazard moral hazard is a hazard that people may behave morally wrong after they have taken a transaction so maybe after you have taken the car you may not drive it properly after you have taken car insurance you may want to do rash driving after you have taken health insurance you may eat wrong food so moral hazard is always after the transaction has taken place so the answer to this question would be a and c okay thank you